Hello everyone, Ronnie J here, and uh, in this video I want to talk about getting a reliable stream host provider. Now, what is a stream host provider? Well, you know how you have a web host provider? Those are the folks who hold or host your the files that make up your website. Well, there's something called, or someone called, stream host providers. And these are folks who hold your music files and uh, or any other type of media files such as movie files and in fact there are uh, host providers who deal with that as well streaming video but we're referring to audio files mp3 files and these are providers who host those types of files and they assist you in getting them out into the internet now what comes with some of those stream host providers is that they provide you with a mechanism or mechanisms that allow you to set up what's called an auto DJ and I'll talk about that in another video and all types of functionality that allow you to just make it easier to manage your radio station in the cloud as opposed to from your computer because if you're streaming from your computer then what you're doing is you're sending out you're streaming out over your personal internet connection that you pay for and your music files are hosted or sitting on your, your laptop, if you're using a laptop, as opposed to having a stream host provider who can host your music files and you're streaming from that side, from up there on the cloud onto the internet. Now, a stream host provider also allows you to connect your music files via your internet connection up to their servers and stream through them. And so that's very important. Another consideration uh, to look at and think about when selecting a reliable stream host provider is the reputation. How long have they been around? Uh, what are you reading about as far as reviews with uh, that particular stream host provider? Uh, you also want to consider things such as uptime. You know, have you heard any reports of uh, them dropping offline? And, and one has to consider that if you're going to be set up in a radio station. Uh, why is that? Because, you know, your listeners can be sitting there and they're really enjoying your your music, your stream. And then all of a sudden your uh, radio station drops offline. Now, it could be a number of things that w can cause it to happen. It could be if you're streaming from uh, over your Internet connection, say from home. Well, maybe your, your Internet connection had a hiccup. That could cause it. But if you choose a good stream host provider, if that does happen, it automatically detects that your internet connection was severed and it picks up the slack and it kicks on, it automatically kicks on what is called an auto DJ and your listeners won't even know anything has happened because that last song that was being streamed up to your host provider, it's being cached and it will play, then fade out then your auto DJ that's sitting on the host provider servers will begin playing the song that you that you have loaded up in the queue within your auto DJ is a very nice uh, mechanism and it really gives your radio station a professional sound and feel and another consideration a very serious consideration is licensing and I'll discuss that a little bit more at length in another video but there are several good stream host providers out there. But what I've noticed about most of them is that they tend to avoid discussing the very important issue of licensing. And the reason for that, I feel, is because what, they're, what they want to do is they want to make the sale, right? They want you to buy their servers. They know you want to set up an internet radio station. They know you need a stream host provider. And they're going to give you all that. But once you get your account with them and you get everything set up and you start to place your radio station online and you're streaming, then almost it's like, wait a minute, something is missing here. Something has not been discussed and that's licensing. You don't want to stream copyrighted music. That is the works of musicians, artists who have put in lots of time and effort into their, their craft and they're not getting paid their royalties. You can get sued big time by doing that. And there are some radio stations out there operating without the proper licensing. And if they're caught, then they could pay a very hefty price that could really pick a, take a big chunk out of their uh, their finances. 
So you want to be legal when you're streaming. In the past, the way things worked is that you had to go over here and get yourself a stream host provider. You had to go over here to get yourself an auto DJ. You had to go to different companies to get different things you needed for your radio station and then tie them all in together. And you got an account over here, an expense over here, an account over there, an expense with them. And it worked, but it took effort to get everything, you know, hooked up. Now there is a company and they, they're reputable. They've been around for a very long time. You may have heard of them, but they allow you to have a stream host package with them. They give you an auto DJ. They also take care of your licensing and they're called Live 365. And I'm going to tell you, having been streaming since 2004, these people are a godsend. So let's talk about Live 365 and they are my a stream host provider of choice and these they are the ones that I recommend. And when you land on the website at Live 365, you can scroll down and see what they have to offer here under create your own internet radio station. Uh, you can stream to mobile devices where people can pick up your station and listen there. Licensing, see, this is a very big issue. In fact, this is probably one of the most important issues that these other host providers don't talk about because they want to make the sale for something else, right? And then you think about the licensing after the fact. But it says here, as is, and it's true, it says a live 365 covers your listeners in the United States through Sound Exchange, ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC. In Canada through SOCAN and ReSound. And in the UK through PPL and PRS for music. What else can you ask for? Live 365 takes care of that when you purchase one of their packages. And also, you can monetize your website through them. Now, you can purchase a package, which I'm about to show you here, that if you don't want the monetization, it's going to cost you a little more. If you get the package where, you're, where it's monetized, then what you're doing there, you're allowing Live 365 to play some of their ads on your stream. And they'll do that automatically. And you get a monetization that way. Or you can pay just a little bit extra and you don't have them playing their ads on your station. You're playing your own stuff on your own station. Uh, I elect to do uh, select the package. I selected the package rather where there is no monetization via Live 365. I monetize my own radio station. So let's uh, click on the learn more button and we can see what they have to offer. And it is true here, Live 365 is the easiest way to build a fully licensed radio station. Think about that. A complete solution to get you broadcasting legally. That's the key word in minutes. And you can watch this very short video. Now, let me take you up here to where it says um, pricing. All right, under uh, plans and pricing, if you scroll down, you have a button here that says uh, ad supported. That's the question. Yes or no, right? Notice what happens here when I, to the prices when I select, yes, I want ad supported. Again, meaning that Live 365 will place in better ads within your stream at certain intervals. If I select the ad and supported package, you see the prices here. For example, this one here is the one that I have at present, broadcast one. If I don't want the ad supported, then this is gonna jump up 20 bucks. And that's what I want. This is a package I like. I don't want, I want full control of my, over my station. And what uh, this package gives me, now you can do the seven day uh, free trial as well, right? But with the broadcast one, I get a lot of stuff here. I get 25 gigabytes of storage. That's, that's a lot of songs. I mean, a lot of songs. We're talking 10,000 or more. It's a lot of songs you can upload up to their servers. You also get uh, 1,500 license uh, TLH. TLH means total listening or listener hours. And this is a very important parameter when you're selecting a package. Because if you exceed this every month, then you'll be charged for the overages. But the way this works is, is, is if you are approaching that number, and you'll be able to see where your uh, TLH is, parameter is with you know how it's incrementing uh during the month within your dashboard when you get yourself a live 365 account 
So you'll know what's going on with that. But if you exceed that, and like I would have said, you'll be charged for the overages. But Live 365 will notify you well in advance when you're approaching going over your allotted 1500 TLH parameter for this package. And what that means basically is that if you exceed it or you're approaching exceeding it, then you'll have to shut down your station if you don't want to be charged for the overages. Or what you can do is you can bump up to the next higher package that's get, that gives you more uh, TLH. What causes TLH to, to increment quickly is if your station is becoming popular and you're getting a lot of listeners. So I find this, this works well, uh, even if you have a lot of listeners, because it says here you get unlimited listeners, but you have to think about this parameter here. Will that be enough? And usually it is for people starting out. This is perfect. And you'll know if your station is a, is getting popular and if you have to make the decision to kick up to a much higher TLH package, which is going to cost you a little bit more per month. You get uh, unlimited bandwidth. Your bit rate is 128 kilobits per second, which is perfect. That's crystal clear audio quality. You can broadcast live. You can, you're, you're covered as far as music licensing in the United States and in Canada. And monetization is included if you want it. I elect not to do it. I can elect to do the monetization, but I don't. I like the freedom of monetization on my own website. So that parameter is very important. Look at the article that I wrote, and it's entitled, um, what is TLH? So you select your package, and you'll have an account set up. You'll be able to, they'll give you your links to log into your back office. And I'll do a video strictly for that. You have an auto DJ there and it is really nice. They take a lot of the worry out of licensing. So you can rest assured that when you're streaming music that you won't get uh, flagged for playing uh, copyrighted music without uh, having a license for it. Now you can play what's called independent or indie music without a license. Live 365, they will not cover you for that because when you're playing independent music, these are individuals who are not like, um, you know, they're not with some organization or companies where their music is protected and copyrighted. But what you need is you need to contact them via email and say, hey, look, I like your, your music. I like to play it on my radio station and, and that'll give you some exposure. And so what you need from them is simply permission. And that permission can come by them sending you an email saying, OK, you have permission to play our songs. That way, if something should happen and they say, hey, you guys, you know, they want to sue you or something. So, no, you gave me permission to play your music. I have the email here to prove it. So with these independent artists, it's simply a matter of asking for their permission to play their music. And again, please understand that Live 65, they don't cover you for independent or indie music. Okay, so this is the uh, stream host provider I highly recommend is Live 365. And I'll talk more about that in another video. As far as the features, the back office, the auto DJ, setting everything up in another video. Okay, this is Ronnie J. You guys take care and see you in the next video.